flipped off the Combs Hill Bridge could finally come out of the water tomorrow, but only if certain weather and environmental factors line up just perfectly. Not on your side, Roseanne Aragon is live in Chopper 9, the only local helicopter getting you breaking news first. She has the meticulous plan to retrieve that car. Roseanne. Team, we're joining you live from the sky to show you the body of water that has made it very difficult for these crews to recover that car. Take a look. They've been trying for days, and water recovery experts have been monitoring this water for 48 hours. Their goal, find out if conditions are right to make sure everyone involved is safe. Saturday will be the big operation, retrieving this car, a red Pontiac that went plunging from the Combs Hill Bridge more than a week ago. Nine on your side spoke with Campbell County Water Rescue officials. The plan, bring a barge, a crane, boats, and a team of commercial divers to get the car. But it's an operation that sounds much easier than it is to do. For some insight, I spoke with diver Sis and Wolf Olson, who own a commercial diving company and have done this operation many times. There's a lot of things that have to be done. First of all, where's the car? And of course, like we said before, number one is, are there people in the car right now? The rescue team tells us the car is tethered about 40 feet under, the driver still missing. But not only that, it's the environment. With, with the Ohio River, if it's a dull day, you can't see anything. If it's a bright day, it lights up. Water temperature, current speed, even sunlight can make a huge difference. They've been monitoring conditions for two days straight. In the operation, the Campbell County Water Rescue, the Ohio Department of Natural Resources, the Sheriff's Office, and outside commercial divers will go in to recover it. The diver has a helmet on, and there's with surface applied diving, you have the communication line, and that's a big safety, one of your safety factors. And as the conditions change in these unpredictable waters, the plan does too. There's a close communication between your tender and between your diver. Anything that, that's happening in the water with the diver, he can immediately communicate to the tender. Now again, these waters are what is going to cause whether or not the plan tomorrow will be successful. Again, they're going to start tomorrow morning. Once they have everything set in place, they will then reassess whether these conditions are right. And again, it just takes one wrong condition where they can cause everything to cancel and cancel these plans for the safety of those divers. Now, nine is on your side. We will be the only helicopter tomorrow bringing you a bird's eye view of the recovery operation. Reporting live in Chopper 9, I'm Roseanne Aragon 9 on your side.